So what's going on guys? This is Anthony here with All Around Topics. And today's a bittersweet day. Um, we just took our daughter back to daycare after being out since the beginning of the coronavirus start, which was back in, was actually before March, but we, um, we kept her home since March. So today was like basically the first day bringing her back and I'm here with our mom. This is Kathy. You guys never met her, but um, yeah, so we were just in here talking about how does it feel to actually bring her back to school. So it's like, it's a bit of sweet feeling. Like I feel like I prayed over her. I have faith in God that he's going to protect her, but you know, the flesh side of you is going to still have, you know, a real gutsy feeling. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. But I, I'm trusting in God that he's going to take care of her. What do you think, Kat? Yeah, it's definitely um, a strange feeling bringing her back and just, you know, knowing that she's exposed to so many different people, so many different children, you know, and it's just, it's a different feeling. Um, but I know that when I went in today and I dropped her off, like I was saying to you, I said, I don't know how I feel about her wearing a mask all day. She is um, one of, there's only two other kids, you know, besides her that are wearing masks. And I cannot even imagine, like, as a child, she's only four, having to wear a mask all day in class. You know, that has to be very uncomfortable. It just felt so strange to just have to watch that, you know, and just knowing that she's going to be there, you know, for both, you know, for a good part of the day and it's going to more than likely be uncomfortable at one point or another because, you know, kids, they like to play, they like to be free um, and even though now this is like the new norm for us to have a mask on, it still, you know, doesn't feel right. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing that she doesn't I mean, we dropped off 9 today, and we have to pick her up by 12, so I don't think it should be that bad, because at some point, she has to eat. Right. She so they're going to, gonna, um, she's going to have to remove her mask for that, but Drain. if we, de yeah, if we decide to move forward, like, with her being there from 9 to 6, now that's a whole different animal, you know what I mean? So... I don't know. Uh, we're just going to have to go with the flow because there's no way to, to plan this out. Like, you can't plan this out. You got to just truly leave it in God's hands. Like, yeah. seriously. So we just basically just wanted to share with you guys the feeling that we feel. It's not I'm, easy for any parent, I believe. I think that, you know, for us, we were very uh, nah, I'm going to have to interject. I see some parents just kids no mask and they just like yeah, as soon as they come out, out the building they just rip the mask off like oh, thank god because god. it's uncomfortable <laughs> they're like done <laughs> because it's uncomfortable like think about it like you know uh, you know you go from you know, being free to do whatever you want hugging your friends you know and now you have to wear a mask you can't touch no one no no no, no 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 i'm talking about i'm talking about like the parents are over it like they bid water back like you know like just drop them off i see the lady come out <laughs> and she just unlooped the mask like and just balled it up and put it in her pocket and you can tell she don't even wear a mask anyway she's just over everything like go back nothing but, is wrong but, yeah. my mask off because glass of wine when I get home like it's crazy me, because it's difficult it's yeah. a difficult circumstances that we're in right now for everyone you know to be at home like look yesterday you know this is her first day yesterday we were preparing her to come in today right and she you know the whole day she's like well I'm bored and what am I gonna do and I want to go with my friends and I want to go but she's excited she wanted to I think she was she was excited about coming back how did she, she see? How did she look? Cause I couldn't go in. I couldn't go in. She usually, I must say, cause she's four now. She's gonna be five this year. So obviously she's growing, you know, mm -hmm. maturing. Um, so usually, you know, there were a lot of hugs and please, mommy, don't leave. You know, 
last year where today for the first time she just gave me a hug she said mommy let me just give you a hug and she really? said bye and she went and sat down with one of her friends and she went right into routine doing her stuff doing yeah. her things you know what you I know? think? I think she's just sick and tired of being home for all this yes. time. She's like, yo, I'm out of here. She feel, she feel like that parent that came out and <laughs> took off the mask. Yo, I was sitting here like, yo, I was like looking at yeah. her like a criminal. She's I was over like, it. this lady yeah. is a criminal. They need to put her away and go her to jail. But it's, you know, that's exactly <laughs> how the kids feel. Like, I know Rylan is excited. She's already asking me, you know, oh, after I do my work, you know, are we going to go outside to play? She's ready. She's she, moving along. Yes, she's moving right along. Like, I think she's going to have a hard time with me coming to pick her up at 12. Yo, one thing I know is sure, when she comes home, let me tell you something, all her clothes is off at the garage. Yes. And I'm she dunking her back. right in the tub. Yes. Like, I'm going to treat her like a virus <laughs> for real she's gonna be treated like a virus because let me tell you something we have to continue to go god is in control i know that but and, at the and, same time he wants us to be smart and i think that that's what gives me peace because last night you know i prayed about it and i said god i know that we're sending her to school today and I'm going to let you be in charge because your word says that you will not allow sickness or disease to come near us. Right. We abide in you. You know, you abide in us. You, you know, you are with us. And I just have I trust and I believe. He knows what we have to do. We're not sitting at home not doing anything. This has right. been a very trying time for us. We work for ourselves. And on top of that, we had to, you know, do daycare and and do everything you know in in one house you know yeah. and manage to still keep going you know the fact that we've even gotten this far is a blessing because there were parents that had to you know take them back the take next them day. back even if they work because there's no way that they can focus and be productive and still you know make the quota for their jobs and and do a full day care where you're teaching them you're interacting with them you're playing especially you know if you there if you only have one child when you have two they might be able to entertain themselves but when you have one they're expecting for you to be their everything mm -hmm. you know they want you to be their friend their companion they want you to sit with them they don't want to be alone right you know yesterday she said but you left me here all by myself watching tv i can you sit with me can you watch this show with me can you watch a movie can we play this game can we read a book Meanwhile, you you have to be productive so that you can earn your money, so that you can pay your bills. Right. So that is is very hard. So that's why you know we can now appreciate these institutions <laughs> in terms of school and teachers, and appreciate the work the work that they do because truly, indeed, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it you is. Know, to keep them on track, to have them scheduled, to keep them stimulate, you know stimulated and to keep them you know engaged in the day and not feel like they're bored and all they want to do is either have a tablet or be in front of the tv it takes a lot of you know preparing and planning right um and interaction with other children for them to you know yeah and it's good it's good for them to get the interaction i mean you can't keep them home forever that's realistic i mean you could you imagine keeping a kid home like no interaction with no other kids like until they 22 that'd be crazy i mean like look right they'd now we're sitting, like a damn cave woman we're sitting outside in front of the daycare and we're looking at even the little kids that are outside playing. running around yeah like you know this is how it's a little toddlers to like maybe maybe two yeah they're between one and two yeah just running around no mask Three. Yeah, teacher none of them. teacher don't got no mask on no either. she has a mask but she put it down because they're outside and i guess they need to breathe you know how difficult it is to have this mask this yeah, mask with all the fibers all going in your chest day? like just for a couple of hours you're over it you're like okay enough i need to breathe so while they're outside, you know, it's an open area, so they keep, yeah, they put the mask down. Just like I have mine, so that's just how they had them. Yeah. Because uh, we're looking at them. Well, the moral of the story is this, because we don't want to drag it out. We want to make the most of this. She's going to be there from 9 to 12, so that's three hours. We need to make the most of this time, or else it would defeat the purpose also of sending her there. Even though she needs the interaction, we still need to do what we need to do. Because once she come back home, I'm telling you, she's on us. Believe yeah. me. 
I wasn't it's a acting. rap. She like, wants to know like what's going on. Like a man skipping around and doing all kind of stuff. <laughs> so we have to make this video short. We can't go too far because if I leave it up to her, this will be an autobiography. So we just wanted to give you our feelings on how, how we feel. And any parents out there that's going through it or whatever or breaking down and probably yeah. crying over the toilet or crying in the sink or whatever the hell they, you guys are doing don't worry god is in control just pray pray into the spirit yes. you know pray pray that his angels go before you and complete their work and watch over your kid you know what i'm saying don't break down be strong be strong Yes. You know? And even if you are a parent that just don't care at all, hey, no shame. You know, God bless. I pray that, you know, your family's protected and you don't have to experience any hardship over this virus. Okay. So, and by the way, you guys go check her, check out her channel. Her channel is um, The Hales Project. And she talks about keto and, uh, lifestyle. you know, lifestyle. And she gives reviews on supplements and all that type of stuff. So go check out her channel at the the Hales Project T H E space Hales H A Y L E S space Project P R O G J E C T. Look at that! I can't even spell today. So check her out. Say bye, cat. Bye bye. All right, you guys have a good one. God bless.